That's why I say some people are ungovernable. They complain about getting shot and the police not doing enough. And then when the police do something, they throw an even bigger fit. That's yeah, called like, being yeah, ungovernable. I mean, it doesn't quite cut it. Yeah, they complain on every level too. They're 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 kind of like amorphous with their complaining. So they'll complain that you know they're getting shot. They're complaining the police are doing something about it on the scene. The actual police will respond. They'll complain that the district attorney is asking for two heavy charges. They'll complain that the judge handed down a too heavy sentence. They'll complain that when the offender goes to jail, that the jail is not. Um, the, the conditions at the jail are not <laughs> great. Compl- like, they complain about everything at every step of the way. Mr. Jovin, um, I don't have to tell you how serious these charges are. I, I know I don't even have to go back through that. Right? Um, I also shouldn't have to remind you that you're out on a bond that and the court has put you on this real serious or some real tight stipulation. Yes, ma'am. At this point, the court feels like you're playing and playing fast and loose with the court in these stipulations. Well, ma'am, this is the second video we've done where this sister has brought this guy in. This is the guy who masterminded the young Dolph murder. And he did it. There's no fucking mystery. When he when the trial starts, he'll either cop to 40 years or go to trial and get convicted and get life. This guy is there's no chance he doesn't get 40 years at least. And he's out on the streets on a bond. The system was not made for that. The system was made for, okay, um, there's a murder, there's a body. We don't know who did it, but like the person before they died, they wrote a T in blood. And uh, her husband's name is Tom. So we'll, well, Tom, we think you did it, but we're not sure. We don't have a lot of evidence. And to keep you locked up on such shoddy evidence until trial is not true, but we want you, we'll make sure you come back to court so we'll give you a bond. Because we do live in a society where, you know, we believe that you're innocent until proven guilty. The bond system wasn't made for three, four hundred murders in the streets like this one. He signed some guys from another crew. The other crew was mad because he signed those guys, so they just murdered them in broad daylight. Like, the system was, the bond system wasn't made for this. Press one. So this guy's out on bond. He's going to get 40 years. It's a slam dunk case. Even Fonnie Willis could prosecute this case when when the trial actually starts. He's going to get 40 years at least. He's out on bond. What do you expect? And he's a son, man, with probably like a 80 IQ at the at the most, 90 at the most. Like the ceiling is 90. I'd love to like, you know, the glider that murdered John Lennon goes out and gives an interview about, yeah, yeah, I did that shit, you know. That was me, dog. You heard me. <laughs> Took his ass out, bro. Well, the glider who killed John Lennon did actually kind of do that, but whatever. Oh, did he? Yeah, okay. All right. Yeah, I mean, he was, he was like, he didn't do that. He gave an interview about it? But there's Mark 200 b- black John Lennons that get killed every year. Right. And like, yeah, in this day and age, too. I'd, I'd be interested to see yeah. any glider doing that. Yeah. His name is Mark David Chapman. I don't mm. Mark are. David. Shouldn't have to remind you that you're out on a bond that, and the court has put you on this real serious or some real tight stipulation. Yes, ma'am. At this point, the court feels like you're 
plan and plan fast and loose to court these stipulations. And I don't like that. You have so this is the second time she's read him the riot act. She brought him in a couple months ago. We covered that. I haven't seen this video. So it sounds like she's about to lock, revoke his bond, right? And lock him up, right? Press one. Doesn't it sound like she's about to revoke his bond and lock him up? This is the second time she had to bring him in for violating the term she gave him for his bond. If she doesn't do that, that's just fucking weird. Salute to Run DAZ. He says, let's all take a moment to say thanks to Sons. Thank you for making life so effing awesome. Thank you so much. Bug off says, hey, I should look up five teens arrested for stabbing death in Queensland, Australia. It's got a fair number of people talking there. All right, well, um, we'll, we'll, look, we'll look into that. Um, Queensland. I filed a motion with your attorney asking me to review your bond conditions. And before we could ever do that, I get a message from a concerned citizen that you're out doing interviews. Whether you're talking about this case or not, you're doing interviews. And, and the court doesn't like the fact that you feel free enough to do interviews. Well, well, wait a second, Judge Boone Sheikha. You gave him a fucking bond for it. Yo, that murder for young Dolph was so brazen. Did you, you, you wear that, right? You guys are wearing the murder, right? It yeah. was so brazen in gangland and public. Y'all let him out on bond for that. It's all on camera. All the text messages are there. That's what it's, uh, the, the set it up. And you let him out. And now she comes back with, we ain't mad that you out here doing. We think you just revoke his bond already then. Why is she acting like she has no power? Why is she acting like she's just, her hands are tied? Bizarre. Feel free enough to do interviews. Because what could be happening is that you could be in jail. And it's a whole lot easier to supervise you there. But you've been given the opportunity to post a bond with, with bond conditions. And you're not doing those things you need to do. We're going to review those bond conditions on March the 1st. Oh, my God. Ooh, hard hitting. So I looked up the guy who killed Lennon and, uh, you know, he would like literally went on Larry King. So I should have probably looked that up before spouting off with my mouth. But I don't think he did it while out on bond for the murder. No, not out on bond for the murder. And she just said... She just said, oh, motherfucker, you did it. And in two weeks, we're going to review your bond conditions. Not, yo, we saw what you, this the second time I'm bringing you in for egregious behavior while out on bond. Um, I'm revoking your bond. Bailiffs, take him to the back. She said, in two weeks, we're going to review your bond conditions. They're not fit for leadership. They're not fit for public service. Press one. In this case or not, you're doing interviews. And, and the court doesn't like the fact that you feel free enough to do interviews. Because what could be happening is that you could be in jail. And it's a whole lot easier to supervise you there. But you've been given the opportunity to post a bond with, with bond conditions, 
and you're not doing those things you need to do. We're going to review those bond conditions on March the 1st. But let me make myself extremely clear to you. That if you fuck up again, I'm going to bring you in and blow and, and, and huff and puff and yell at you. And I'm going to review the you condition right on the 25th of February. <laughs> not do a goddamn thing. Don't make me make it the 21st. <laughs> oh. Then she ends it with Harsh a fair, Mr. She, 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 she foregoes revoking his bond immediately and locking him up and ends it with a threat that if you if I, if I bring you back in for a third time, you were in real trouble that time. Like, yo, this is crazy. This is crazy. This is a banana republic, man. But not even a banana republic. They would have given that guy 50 years of hard labor. So this isn't even a banana republic. Right. On March the 1st. But let me make myself extremely clear to you that you are to not have any interviews with anybody for any reason. Your attorney has assured me that nothing was said about this case in that interview. And I, I, I have no reason not to believe what he told me was true. But so she hasn't watched the interview. She just took his attorney's word for it. And a totally unbiased observer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, no need you know to watch what? it, Judge. I think uh, there's, there's nothing in the uh, video about There's nothing in the interview about the case here. <laughs> she couldn't take the time to watch or have one of her clerks watch it and give her official report. She just said, your attorney said ain't nothing in it. Like, what? No, this, this is, this is, it's a mind numb. It's hard to be witty and funny about this. Because it's like, it's so, you got Tiffany Henyard, you got Fonnie Willis, you got uh, this one, that one, twerking on the handstand. You got all of them, they all fucking the fucked up in some way. And then pops up this judge out of nowhere and it's like, oh, God, her too. Like, it's like, fuck. <laughs> they come at you from every direction. <laughs> exactly. They're like, many oh, of them. <laughs> They're literally like roaches, man. About this case in that interview, and I, I, I have no reason not to believe what he told me was true. But like I said, you should not be interviewing with anyone. You should not be making any public statements, and you should be in the house. That means not going to anybody's funeral. Put your hand down. You're speaking through your attorney at this point. That means not going to funerals or anywhere else. That means in the house as of right now. Not going to funerals. That's an interesting too. You not showing up on that is so, that is such a fucking black thing to say because it's like. That's a regular occurrence, I guess. Like, not be going to funerals. What a like, weird thing to know, mention off the top of your head, yeah. That is just a black thing, man. Like, he's like, the, the father said, it was yeah, a black man, thing. Man. That's a black thing. Like, not not to go to the basketball court, not to go to the park, or not to go fucking, like, you not supposed to leave the house to go to funerals, or not. like, damn. <laughs> Went right to that. <laughs> yeah. Yikes. Yikes. Or anywhere else, that means in the house as of right now. And about you not showing up on yesterday or showing up and then leaving because your counsel 
thought it was appropriate to allow you to go home because you were getting a barrage of phone calls, that's neither here nor there. When you're supposed to be here, you're supposed to be here. This is after he skipped out on it. <laughs> you on my docket yesterday? You were supposed to be here. Bottom line. And I thought I would. He instructed me not to come. Like I said, you are supposed to be here. Whether your attorney is here or not, you should be here. Yes, Do you understand that? Yes, Do you understand what house arrest means as of this point? Yes, I'll see you back here on March the 1st, sir. All right, thank you. Please don't. And, and as to that incident of you assaulting the woman in the courthouse the other day when you were here, that's neither here nor there as well. <laughs> Yeah, like he could have raped one of her clerks in the bathroom, and she was like, "We're gonna talk about that on March 1st. It's Fucking crazy, this is man! Yeah. I'll see you back here on March the first. And it's not like he's in here for like knocking off a liquor store or some shit. That murder—that's the most high-profile murder, other than I guess. Uh, Tyree Nichols, but that's the most high-profile non-cop-related murder in that city in the last several years. I, it's just, it was crazy. Like they literally mowed him down in a cookie shop at like twelve noon with like long rifles and shit. This is the most high profile in a case in the city where a, a billionaire glider woman got raped and slaughtered while she was jogging. Just to be clear for the sisters that are like, they always be talking about white women. Yeah, exactly. You don't give me any reason to revoke this bond. And we won't even have to have these conversations. Mark first. One, if you think he's going to um, make it to the first without um, violating again. Two, if you think he's not. One, if you think he makes it to the first without violating again. Two, if you think he doesn't. Not that it matters. <laughs> not like it's going, you know what I'm saying? Not like it's going to mean anything, but just, just get yelled at again. Um... God, man, what a fucking crazy, strange place this is. Mm. Let's see. A carjacking in a quiet neighborhood near 84th and Mill last October still haunts the 64-year-old victim. I remember the person coming into my car pulling me out of the car, pushing me down, fighting me for my purse. As she fought the young man, a neighbor called 911. Some kids are stealing my neighbor's car. They're in her car, they can't get the car, they can't get the car. 